This wolf kept lying in the coffin, and wouldn't leave in spite of the other's drive. What was going on? Wolves rarely get close to humans, but this wolf was different. Not only was it not afraid, it even defied the other's expulsion. This wolf stuck close to this woman in the coffin. What happened in the end? Let me tell the story for you. Wolves have a bad image in most people's mind. In ancient times, people often used some derogatory and representative scary words to describe wolves, which is the reason why we are afraid of them. In fact, wolves have a lot of merits. Wolves are a very mysterious and dangerous beast, with sharp teeth and claws and strong, fighting power. Wolves are very intelligent and they are the ancestors of dogs. Most wolves live in packs. In addition, wolves have good endurance, and they do not give up like cheetahs when hunting. As long as their prey is targeted by them, they cannot escape which enables them to survive in extremely harsh environments. In this story, this mysterious and powerful wolf was presented in a positive light. Let's take a look at what happens. There was a hungry wolf in the snow. Its eyes were not bright because it was wounded and lost. Without the shelter of the wolf pack, it was unable to catch its prey. In order to heal as soon as possible and not to freeze to death in the forest, the wolf had to brave the cold to find food. Unfortunately, in the cold weather, it could not even find a hare. At that time, all animals were in hibernation. In desperation, this wounded wolf could only venture down the mountain to look for food. However, not long after, this one collapsed in the snow due to physical exhaustion. Fortunately, just when the wolf was dying, a woman suddenly appeared. The wolf howled, thinking that the woman was going to hurt it, so it tried to scare the woman off in this way. At that time, the wolf did not have the strength to stand up, so it could not resist and had to lie helplessly on the ground. When this woman approached, this wolf suddenly howled, sounding miserable and desperate. The wolf's howl echoed in the valley, as if a sad person was crying. When the woman saw the wolf struggling, she felt a little afraid, but she did not intend to give up, knowing that if the wolf continued to stay in the snow, it would surely die. At that time, the wolf was not only injured, but also suffered from severe malnutrition. The kind woman did not want it to die, so she slowly squatted down and tried to tell the wolf that was wailing that she would not hurt it. The woman boldly put her hand on the wolf's head and kept stroking it. The wolf was relieved to find that the woman did not want to hurt it, and let her pet it. The woman was delighted when the wolf dropped its guard. Then she carefully picked it up, and went to the nearest veterinary hospital to treat the wolf. During the treatment, the wolf behaved like a dog, as if it knew that these people were helping it. The wolf's recovery was amazing. A few days later, the wolf was rejuvenated and healthy and was discharged from the hospital with the permission of the veterinarian. The woman was so relieved to see the wolf recover. After ensuring her own safety, the woman took the wolf back to the place where she had found it and released it. Knowing that the woman was her benefactor, the wolf did not leave directly after being released, but slowly walked up to the woman and gently rubbed its head against her hand to show its gratitude. The woman was shocked by the scene, not expecting the wolf to thank her. It turned out that animals also had complicated emotions. After that, the woman did not forget the wolf, but often brought food to the forest to feed it. The woman was afraid that the wolf would not be able to catch the prey and would be hungry after returning to the forest. Every time the woman delivered the food, she would stay for a while, hoping to meet with the wolf but the wolf never appeared. However, the next day, after the woman saw that the lunchbox was empty, she realized that the wolf had already come. After that, the wolf and the woman kept in touch in such a special way. One day, 
The wolf noticed that the woman had not brought food to it for a long time, so it felt very puzzled and did not know what had happened. After that, the wolf decided to look for the woman. Fortunately, the wolf's nose was very sensitive and reached the woman's home. However, at that moment, the wolf found that the woman smelled strange, like she was sick, so the wolf immediately accelerated its pace and ran to the woman's house. The wolf found the woman lying in a coffin. It turned out that the woman had suddenly fainted while doing housework and had not woken up. The woman's family thought she was dead, so they called her relatives and friends and held a funeral for her. At that time, these people were saying goodbye to the woman and preparing to put the lid on the coffin. However, a wolf quickly rushed out and ran to the coffin, then jumped in, clinging to the woman and lying beside her. The others were surprised by this scene and wanted to drive the wolf away, but no matter how they drove it away, it just wouldn't leave, which made them even more puzzled. After discussion, they called in a local doctor. When the doctor arrived, he examined the woman and found that she was not dead at all, so the men hurriedly sent the woman to the local hospital for treatment. They almost killed this woman indirectly, so they felt scared. In fact, this woman's condition was a kind of fake death phenomenon. Although her breathing and heartbeat had stopped, she was not dead but her breathing and heartbeat were to faint for ordinary people to perceive. This wolf was actually very smart to sense that this woman was not dead and used this method to tell other people who did not know about it. This wolf wanted to repay its benefactor, which was incredible. Until now, the woman is still in contact with the wolf. It turns out that animals also have complex emotions and know how to be grateful. We should not hurt such lovely animals.